number four hitter is in left field, Brown in left. Willie Horton in right field, batting number five, Horton in right. Don Wirt, batting six, is playing second base, Wirt at second. Bubba Phillips, the third baseman, batting number seven, Phillips at third. Bill Freehand, the catcher of the number eight hitter, Freehand catching, and the right-hander, Denny McLean on the mound. McLean, who has won one and lost one, doing the pitching and batting number nine. For Baltimore, it'll be Bob Johnson leading off. He'll be at shortstop, replacing the injured Aparicio. Sam Bowen will be in right field, batting number two. Bowen's in right. Jim Gentile, the first baseman, bats number three. Gentile at first. John Ors catcher and the number four hitter. Orsino catching. Johnny Powell in left field, bats number five. Powell in left. Brooks Robinson at third base. Robinson at third, batting number six. And then the seventh batter for the Orioles is Jackie Brandt, the center fielder. Brandt in center. Followed by the number eight hitter, Jerry Adair, the second baseman. Adair at second base. And then the young right-hander, 18 years old, from California, Wally Bunker on the mound. Both the two young pitchers are still warming up. They've taken quite a bit of time for their warm-up. for the Tigers. He'll be followed by McAuliffe and then Normcash. Tigers and the Orioles in the final game of the 1963 season and an important ball game for the Tigers. They're tied with the Indians for fifth place and they'd like to win this one today. Wally Bunker delivers a fastball that's in there and this youngster can throw hard. Let there be no doubt about that at the start of the game. We've been watching him warm up on the sidelines and he is a hard-throwing right-hander. The first pitch delivered to Billy was a fastball down the middle. Here's the one strike pitch. A swing and a miss. He blazed another one by him. Two strikes. Tigers don't worry too much about how hard Bunker will throw. They hope he knows where he's throwing it. That's the main thing when you find an 18-year-old right-hander making his major league debut. Even though he might have good control, he'll be a little nervous. Here's the pitch. A liner to left field. Here's John Powell moving over, makes the catch. Billy Bruton sent it straight to Powell in left field. That's out number one, and the batter will be Dick McAuliffe. Dick's a left-handed batter with a 263 batting average. He has 13 home runs and 61 runs batted in. They'll have a lot of water around the edge of the outfield. They have swept the water off the outfield onto the warning track and puddles of water all around. The pitch to McAuliffe is in there. One strike. Bunker has thrown nothing but strikes in this ball game. Checking the signs with Arsino. Here's the pitch. Outside, he missed. One ball, one strike. Tigers batting in the first inning. One out, no one on. Had a couple of games postponed because of rain. The Yankees and the Twins at Yankee Stadium and Los Angeles and Boston at Fenway Park in Boston. Postponed because of rain. Here's the 1-1 pitch. 
way outside, ball two and strike one. The rain that hit this area last night and in the early part of the morning hours evidently moving on into New York and Boston later in the day forcing cancellation of those ball games. We had heavy rain here in Baltimore early this morning. The 2-1 pitch. He swings and misses. 2-2 two and two to Dick McAuliffe. Norman Cash will be the next batter. Norm in the on-deck circle just to the right of home plate. McAuliffe chokes the bat as he waits on Bunker. Youngster getting into the windup. Here's the 2-2 pitch. A ground ball hit to the shortstop. Johnson has it on the big hop to throw to first. He's out. Nick McAuliffe going out short to first. That's out number two, and the batter will be Norm Cash. Norm, a left-handed batter with a 269 batting average. He has 26 home runs and 79 runs batted in. Since the rain, the temperatures have fallen here in Baltimore. Much cooler, strong wind blowing from left field into home plate. A pitch to Cash is down low. That was a curveball, the first curveball delivered by a bunker in the ballgame. The rest have been blazing fastballs. Wally checking the signs. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Norm swings and misses. One ball, one strike. Two outs, no one on. We're in the first inning. No score in the ball game. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Ball, it's too high. Ball two and strike one. The Orioles have Jim Teal at first base. Jerry Adair at second, Bob Johnson the shortstop, Brooks Robinson is on at third, John Orsino the catcher, and Wally Bunker doing the pitching. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Ball, it's too high, 3-1. and one. John Powell is in left field, Jackie Brand in center field, and Sam Bowen's in right field. Norman Cash waiting on the 3-1 pitch. Wally getting ready. Here it is. He swings and pops it up behind second base. Adair going back on the grass in right field. He's treading water out there as he makes the catch. Water flying everywhere as Jerry Adair was going after the high pop fly. No run, no hits, no arrows, no one left. And the score at the end of the first half, the first inning. The Tigers nothing with the Orioles coming to bat. Wally Bunker in the first inning he's worked in the major leagues. And he's probably very glad to have that first inning over. Has set the Tigers down in order. They didn't uh, damage him at all. Bruton uh, hit a line drive, hit it late, and out to Powell and left. And McCullough bounced to short. And Cash popped up to Adair at second of base. So now it's Denny McLean's turn on the mound. Denny with a win over Chicago and a loss to Washington is only two times out. And now pitching against the Baltimore Orioles here in the first inning of the final game of the year. Johnson, the shortstop, will lead it off. And he'll be followed by Sam Bowens, the right fielder, and then the first baseman, Jim Gentile, against the right-hander, Dennis McLean. Here's George again. Bob Johnson will lead off for Baltimore, followed by Sam Bowens and then Jim Gentile. Johnson, a right-handed batter. He has a 299 batting average. Eight home runs, 32 runs batted in. No scores. We go into the bottom of the first. John Dennis McLean getting ready. Here's the first pitch. Strike. He got the fastball over. Denny has won one and lost one. He beat the White Sox four to three, and he lost in his last outing. That one was against Washington. The one strike pitch is foul back on the screen. Two strikes to Johnson. New baseball put into play by Hank Soar. Soar behind the plate. Al Smith, the umpire at first base. Al Salerno at second base. Jim Honachick is on at third base. Here's the two-strike pitch. Curve ball. He struck him out. The ball, did he foul tip it? Now, wait a minute. Here's a throw to first base. It got away from Freehan. He's out. Johnson did not run. He turned and looked at Soar, and Soar said, nope, no foul tip. 
Freehand ran the ball down, made the throw to Cash at first base. It'll be a strikeout credited to McLean. Freehand getting an assist on the play, throwing down to Cash. Sam Bowen's a batter. Right-handed batter with a 326 batting average. One home run and nine runs batted in. Strike the fastball is in there. Dennis McLean checking the signs with Bill Freehand. Here's the one strike pitch. She swings and misses. Two strikes. Well, these two youngsters are not awed by the major leagues as McLean and Bunker both throwing strikes here today. Sam Bourne waiting on the two strike pitch. McLean delivers. He pops it foul and out of play. He had the fastball by him. Bourne just got the bat out at the last moment. It hit his bat and sailed off to the right. Tigers pretty much straight away for Bourne. They played deep in the outfield. Sort of blasted one over the left center field fence in yesterday's game. Denny ready, delivers, ball, it's up high. One ball and two strikes. Tigers went out in order in the top of this inning in case you're joining us late. Bob Johnson, the leadoff man for the Orioles, struck out. Sam Bowen's the batter with a one ball, two strike count. Here's a curve, bounce foul. Look out. And we're getting quite a bit of play here. Now, you'd have to see this to believe it. Sam Boyd bounced this one foul off to the left. It went into the on-deck circle, and Jen Thiel, standing with a bat in his hand, hit the ball, a high fly into foul territory over near the Tiger dugout, and Norm Cash on the dead run went over and made a one-hand catch. You'd think that decided to pin at that play. And the crowd got quite a kick out of it. Here's the pitch to Bowen. A ground ball to second base. Word has it. The throw to Cash. He's out. Bowen's going out second to first. Norm Cash made quite a play on it. On, <laughs> as Gentile popped it off to the right. Four. Two down, and here's Gentile. Now well, maybe hit another one just like it. Norm can do it again. Gentile, a big left-handed batter with a 246 batting average. He has 23 home runs, 71 runs batted in. Swings and misses on a fastball. One strike. Diamond Jim, a very controversial figure here in Baltimore. They either boo him or they cheer him. There's no in-between with him. Fastball is foul back. It'll be out of play. Two strikes to Gentile. Tigers are deep and far to right field for the big first baseman. McLean with a new baseball, checking the signs. Denny shaking off the first sign. Here's the pitch. He struck him out. Threw the fast one by him around the letters, and Jim Gentile strikes out. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left, and the score at the end of the first inning of play. Baltimore nothing, the Tigers nothing. No scores. We go into the second inning. The Tigers will be sending up Gates Brown to lead off. He'll be followed by Willie Horton and then Don Work. So both of the young right-handers walking right through the first inning. One, two, three. There's Gates, a left-handed batter with a 263 batting average. He has one home run this year and 11 runs batted in. Gates got that one home run, you remember, on his first time at bat in the major leagues. Pinch hitting roll at Fenway Park in Boston. Wally Bunker getting ready. Delivers to Brown. He swings and bounces it down the first baseline. Gentile picks it up, steps on the bag, and Gates is out. A slow bounding ball near the bag at first base. Easy play for Gentile. I'll bring up Willie Horton. Willie has a 250 batting average. One home run and four runs batted in. Now 
Willie, a right-handed batter, wears number 48 on his back. Here's the first pitch. Curveball. It's in there. Wally Bunker getting the curveball over. Washington playing at Chicago this afternoon. Cleveland's at Kansas City. Minnesota, New York, Los Angeles, and Boston postponed because of rain. Here's another curve. It's in tight. One ball and one strike. In the National League, Cincinnati's at St. Louis, Chicago at Milwaukee, Philadelphia at Los Angeles, Pittsburgh at San Francisco, New York is at Houston. A pitch to Willie is outside. A ball, two, and a strike, one count. They're getting rain in Los Angeles, of all places. The game has not been postponed, but it is raining in L.A. We've been having some extreme temperatures out there the last few days, up to 115 yesterday. Here's a liner to center field, a solid base hit for Willie Horton. Jackie Brandt racing in to get it. That ball hit and stopped in the mud. Jackie had to race in to hold Willie at first base. It's the first base hit of the ball game. Willie Horton lining a single to center field. The batter will be Don Wirt, the second baseman. Don has a .254 batting average. Six home runs and 24 runs batted in. Bunker checks the runner. Here's the pitch. Strike. He got the fastball over. The infield is in perfect condition, completely dry. The outfield is very soggy and wet. In fact, water standing in places in the outfield. The pitch. He swings and fouls it back. Word had a riffle at a good fastball. Two strikes. with a new baseball taking a little time checks his alignment before he steps back on the rubber Horton taking a big lead at first base the pitch to work curve is in there he's called out on strike Wally Bunker got the curveball over and Hank Soar went up for the right hand first strikeout in the ball game for Bunker we'll bring up Bubba Phillips Bubba has a 247 average, five home runs, and 43 runs batted in. The Tigers have a runner at first base with two outs. There he goes, a swing and a foul, back to the screen. Willie Horton was on his way. Bubba fouled the pitch back. Scoreless ball game in the second inning. Willie Horton has been the only base runner in the ball game. After Brown bounced to first base, Willie singled to center field. Don Wirt was then called out on strike. Here's the pitch to Bubba. There goes the runner again. A ground ball to third. Robinson up with it. The long throw to first. He's out. Bubba Phillips going out. Third to first. No runs in the inning. One hit. No errors, one man left, and the score at the end of one and a half innings of play, Detroit nothing, Baltimore nothing. Well, John Arsino will lead off for the Orioles, followed by John Powell and then Brooks Robinson. Arsino has a 269 average, 19 home runs, 56 runs batted in. McLean delivers, it's in there. Fastball right down the middle. One strike to Arsino. Fella had a home run in yesterday's ball game. Dennis Reddy delivers strike two, another fastball. Two strikes to Arsino. Tigers are deep, pretty much straight away in the outfield. John out of the box for just a moment, gets back in. Here's the two-strike pitch. Hit up the middle of center field. McLean delivered a slow curveball. Arsino was fooled, but he slapped it back through the middle into center field. So that's the first hit for the Orioles. Puts a runner at first base with no one out. And the batter will be John Powell, the big left fielder. Oh. 
Johnny's a left-handed batter. He has a 263 average. 25 home runs and 82 runs batted in. Cash is going to play behind the runner at first base. Here's a fastball outside. One ball or no strike. At Chicago, it'll be Gary Peters for the White Sox and Claude Osteen for Washington today. Here's a strike. Nice ball that caught the corner. One and one to John Powell. Baltimore batting in the second inning. They have a runner at first base with no one out. No score in the game. A couple of rookie right-handers today, Dennis McLean and Wally Bunker. The pitch to Powell. He swings and misses. One ball and two strikes. McLean has a good live fastball today. He keeps it up around the letters. In fact, in his last outing, he was wild, and it was invariably up high when he was wild. Charlie Dressen working with him to get his pitches down a little bit lower. The pitch to Powell is hit deep into left center field. This ball is up the alley, going all the way to the fence. Here's Orsino being waved in from third base, and now he's going back. Orsino was waved in by Bauer, but I believe he tripped or stumbled over the bag and upset his stride, then he went back to third base. It's a long double for John Powell. The Orioles, with back-to-back -back hits, have runners at second and third. No one out, and the batter is Brooks Robinson. Powell really gave that one a ride. A line drive up the alley on the left center that hit the fence on one hop at the 390-foot mark. Here's Brooks Robinson, right-handed batter with a 251 batting average. Brooks has 11 home runs, 66 runs batted in. Tigers are back on the infield. Phillips is in about halfway at third, and Cash may be a step from his position, but... Shortstop and second are back. The strike goes around the letters. One strike to Brooks. A single by Orsino. And a double by John Powell, the Orioles, threatening against the Tigers here in the second. McLean getting ready. Delivers. The curve is in the dirt. Gets by a freehand. It'll get a run in. John Orsino coming in. John Powell moves to third base. It'll be a wild pitch charged against McLean. The curveball hit, I believe, on top of home plate and then scooted away. One to nothing, Baltimore leading the Tigers here in the second. Well, the sun is coming out here in Baltimore, but it won't be out for long because we still have a lot of black skies up above. Big clouds moving in and out. The pitch to Robbie is down low. A ball two and a strike one count. Baltimore leading one to nothing. They have a runner at third with no one out. Tigers are in closer on the infield. Here's the two one pitch. Robbie takes this one outside three and one. Jackie Brand is in the on-deck circle. Denny shaking off a couple of signs from freehand. Here's the pitch. Ball, it's too low. Brooks Robinson drawing a walk. Put runners at first and third with no one out, and the batter will be Jack Brandt. Jackie's a right-handed batter. He has a 251 average. 15 home runs, 61 runs batted in. Tigers moving back on the infield a little with runners at first and third. Everybody about halfway. Here's the pitch. Curveball is in there. One strike to Brent. Jackie wearing number 25 on his back. He has the golf glove on his right hand that he wears throughout the baseball season. 
Another curve, and it's in there. McLean getting two straight curve balls over. Puts him out in front of Jackie Brandt with a strike two count. We're in the second inning. Baltimore leading one to nothing. They still have runners at first and third with no one out. The pitch. Strike three called. He threw the fastball down the middle, and Jackie Brandt was caught looking. That's one away. And the batter will be Jerry Adair. Strikeout number three in the ball game for McLean. Jerry, a right-handed batter with a 230 batting average. He has six home runs and 30 runs batted in. The pitch to Adair. He swings and taps it out in front of the plate. Here's the throw to the plate, and they've got Powell trapped now between third and home. Freehand gives it to Phillips, and now they've got the other one trapped. Robinson is trapped. Here's the tag, and it's a double play. Powell was trapped, tagged out between third and home. Phillips made a quick tag on him and turned, and Robbie was between second and third, and a quick throw down to Don Word, and he was tagged out. So the double play, getting the Tigers out of a big jam. One run in the inning on two hits. There were no errors. One man left. And the score at the end of two, Baltimore won. The Tigers nothing. Marathon! There's a new sensation that goes with driving these days. Some call it a sports car feeling. Some call it right now response. Either way, it's yours for the asking. Provided you ask for Marathon gasoline. Only Marathon gives you Accelerative M1, the unique refinery mix that boosts your car to its 40th, most responsive performance. Get Marathon Response right now, right now. Get right now response with Marathon. Put your foot down and know you will go, so go with Marathon. Marathon, right now. Marathon gasolines with Accelerative M1. Marathon! Only at the sign of Marathon. Bill Freehand will lead off for the Tigers in the third inning. He'll be followed by the pitcher, Denny McLean, and then Billy Bruton. We've got a one to nothing ball game here in Baltimore. The Orioles out in front of the Tigers. Number 11, Bill Freehand. Freehand with a 237 batting average. He has nine home runs, 34 runs batted in. Bill got home run number nine here yesterday afternoon. A dark, cloudy, and a damp afternoon right now as the sun has gone behind the clouds again. Freehand takes a fastball down low. One ball and a strike. Young Wally Bunker making his first start in the major leagues. Delivers to Bill. He swings. There's a fly ball down the right field line. Bowen's racing over. He can't get it. It hits in the water and bounds near the fence. Freehand on his way to second. He'll go in with a double. A pop fly down the right field line. Bowen's racing over. Couldn't get it. The ball landed on the warning track right in a puddle of water. Rolled over near the fence. That's hit number two for the Tigers. Bills at second with no one out, and the batter will be Denny McLean. McLean has called time. Now, he had checked the signs with Bob Swift at third base, and he wants to be sure. Let's pause for station identification. This is the Detroit Tiger Baseball Network. Getting the signs straightened out. Denny coming back, stepping into the batter's box. Right-handed batter. Denny wears number 34 on his back. Here's the pitch. Strike. He got a curveball over. Boy, the young pitcher threw his pitching rival a curve on the first pitch. He might have crossed up Orsino as Johnny quickly raced out to the mound for a conversation with him. I think he did. I think he had called for the fastball and he got the curve. Well, he delivered a dandy. Right over the heart of the plate. One strike to the pitcher, Dennis McLean. Then he gave no indication he was going to bunt. 
Bunker looking in. Here's the one strike pitch. He bunts, it is fouled on the third baseline. McLean trying to pull Robinson in from third base to field the bunt. Got it outside the line. A strike two count to Denny. Pretty good crowd on hand today, and they're still coming in for this final game of the 63 season. and foul tips it. That's when ricochets off the mask of the catcher. A two-strike count to Dennis McClain. Tigers batting in the third inning. They trail in this ball game one to nothing. Bill freehand at second base with no one out. Bunker checks the runner. The pitch to Denny. Another foul ball. This one ricocheting off to the chest protector of Hank Soar. Visiting with the umpires before the ball game today in their room, dressing room. And they, like the ball players, will be scattering to the four winds right after this ball game, going in all directions. North, south, east, and west. Here's the pitch. A ground ball hit deep to short. A good play by Johnson. The long throw to first. He got him. McLean hit that one hard. A bullet to the right of Bob Johnson, who raced into the hole and made a fine play. Freehan had to hold on at second base. He would have been an easy out attempting to move to third. I'll bring up Billy Bruton. Ball was labeled base hit when he left the bat. Johnson recovered. Lunge to his right. Made a nice stop. Billy lined to left field. It's first time up. Bunker taking the long look in. He got the sign. The pitch to Billy. Strike. He got the fastball over. A one strike count. Freehand at second base with one out. We're in the third inning. Baltimore won, the Tigers nothing. Bunker was ready to go, then he stepped off the rubber. He gets back on to get the sign. Here's the pitch to Billy. A swing and a miss on a change of pace. Two strikes to Bruton. The Tigers and the Indians with identical marks are tied for fifth place in the American League standings. The Indians will be playing in Kansas City a little bit later this afternoon. Here's the pitch to Bruton. He checked his swing in time. One ball, two strikes. Bunker came in with a curve ball. Billy checked his swing. wind is blowing now more toward right field from the foul pole, maybe in left field to the foul pole in right. Should have helped balls hit into the right field section. There's a foul that'll be out of play. And back in the third deck. Still a ball and two strikes to Billy Bruton. Sort of a top-coated crowd here in Baltimore today in contrast to the past couple of days when we've had warm and very pleasant temperatures. Here's the pitch. Billy pops it up behind the plate. Orsino coming back. He's got the room on this one. And he makes the catch. The wind was taking it away from him at the last moment. Orsino made a lunge and grabbed it. That's out number two, and the batter will be Dick McAuliffe. Dick was out on a ground ball of the shortstop in the first inning. Freehand opened this inning with a double. He's still at second base with two outs. Dick McAuliffe with a chance to put the Tigers back in this ball game. Bunker has really slowed his pitching pace. This youngster was working fast through the first couple of innings. Here's the pitch. Outside. One ball and no strikes. 
course, one of the reasons for the delay with a runner at second base, the signs become a little bit more complicated in the attempt to keep the runner from picking them up and relaying them onto the batter. They make them a little tougher, and of course, that makes it tougher on the pitcher. He has to look in a little bit longer to be sure he's getting the right sign. A pitch to McAuliffe. He swings and fouls it back. One ball, one strike. With a runner at first base, or a runner at third base, the sign's very simple. One fastball, two for the curve. Three maybe for a slider, outside pitch of any kind, and a jiggle of the fingers or a wiggle of the fingers for the change of pace pitch. But at second base, they become a little bit more difficult. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Ball outside. Ball two and strike one. Sometimes they'll use the count system. The first sign they go down with, if it's a one or a two, means that the that number will be used for the sign. In other words, if they go down with a one, then the next sign will be the sign they're going to use. If they go down with a two, it'll take two more signs before they'll start counting. Here's a pitch up high, three and one. Dick McCall up the batter with a ball three and a strike one count. Freehand at second base with two outs. The Tigers trailing one to nothing. Dick choking the bat, waiting on the 3-1 pitch. Bunker delivers outside. He walked him. The first walk given up by the young right-hander. We'll put runners at first and second with two down, and the batter will be Norm Cash. Norm popped to the second baseman in the first inning. Two on, two outs. We're in the third. Bunker didn't like the baseball he had when he was pitching to McAuliffe. He delivered it into Hank Soar, getting a new one. Wally getting ready. Delivers. Here's a ground foul down the first baseline. One strike to Norm Cash. He screamed this one right through the coach's box. Pat Mullen had to skip rope to get out of the way. Orsino has gone out to the mound again for a conversation with his young pitcher. Johnny has been out several times throughout this ball game, probably trying to reassure the youngster and calm him down. So far, he has pitched like a poised veteran. 18 years old, making his first start in the major leagues. Youngster won 11 and lost one with Stockton this year in the California League. The pitch to Cash. Ball, it's up high. One ball and one strike. Runners at first and second with two out. The Tigers trying to get back in the ball game. Norman Cash waiting on the 1-1 pitch. Bunker checks the runners. Here it is. He swings and fouls it off. One ball. Outside. He missed the corner. Two and two to Cash. Pitch. Way outside with this one. Three and two to... Starman right down on the end of the bat, waiting on the 3-2 pitch. Bunker checking the runners. Delivers. Inside. He threw the curveball. Three and two and got it in tight. So the Tigers have the bases loaded with two outs, and the batter will be Gates Brown. Of course, he still has a chance to get in this ball game, but not in the starting lineup. Here's one outside, one ball and a strike. Delivers. Here's a pop fly. It's going to be out of play. This one coming back into the crowd. One ball, one strike. Gates waiting on the 1-1 pitch. Here it is. He swings at the ground ball to second base. Jerry Adair has it, throws to first. He's out. Brown going out, second to first. No runs in the inning. One hit, there were no errors. Three men left. And the score at the end of two and a half innings of play, Baltimore won, the Tigers nothing.
we go into the bottom of the third inning, the pitcher Wally Bunker will be the leadoff man for Baltimore. We're waiting on Wally right now to move out of the dugout. Here's Wally coming on. He'll be followed by Bob Johnson and then Sam Bowen. He's got a one to nothing ball game. The Orioles picking up a run in the second inning. On a single, a double, and a wild pitch by McLean. Bunker, the batter, a right-hander. There's number 35 on his back. McLean delivers, strikes the fastball that's in there. Each team with two hits will be starting in Yankee Stadium on Wednesday. And what a ball game that should be. Uh, Sandy Koufax goes against Whitey Ford. The pitch to Bunker is swung on and missed. One ball, two strikes. Koufax has been in a World Series once before. He pitched one ball game against the White Sox back in 1959. Two pitch. A liner that is fouled on the right field line. Still two and two to the pitcher, Wally Bunker. Delivers ball. It's too high. Three and two. at an angle into right field. Here's a ground ball hit slowly to second base. Word has it to throw to first. He's out. Wally Bunker going out second to first. That'll bring up Bob Johnson. Oh, about 9.30 this morning down at the hotel, it didn't look like we would ever play baseball in Baltimore today. The rain was coming down in sheets. Johnson struck out his first time at bat. Slender, right-handed batter. Swings and hits the fly ball to right. This is Deep Horton going back, and he's got it on the run. Right at defense. Willie Horton racing deep into right field to get the blast off the bat of Bob Johnson. That's out number two, and the batter will be Sam Bowen. Two games postponed in the American League because of rain. Minnesota at New York, Los Angeles at Boston. The pitch to Bowen. Ball, it's a pass. One ball and a strike. Here's the 1-0 and pitch. Ball, it's in tight. Ball two and a strike. We've got a one to nothing ball game here in Baltimore. We're in the bottom of the third inning. The McLean delivering the fastball by Bowen. Ball two and strike one. Bowen, spell B-O-W-E-N-S. Sam Bowen. Denny looking in. Here's the two one pitch. Outside, three and one. Payne has not been wild in this ball game. He's only walked one batter. That was Robinson back in the second inning. Here's a 3-1 pitch. He swings and fouls it back. This one's sailing into the upper deck. Three and two. Sam getting out of the box for just a moment. A ball three and a strike two count to the big right-handed batter. Plane shaking off two signs. Delivers. There's a liner to right field. It's in for a base hit. Well, this one hit right in a big puddle of water, and Willie Horton treading water as he comes in to get it. This ball game more than likely would not have been played had it not been the last day of the season. The outfield is in a pretty bad condition for playing baseball. That's hit number three for Baltimore. Puts a runner at first base with two outs, and the batter will be Jim Gentile. This big fella struck out in the first inning. Norm Cash playing behind the runner at first base. Here's a fastball that's in there, one strike. I don't think Norm's, I think Norm's trying to hide behind the runner at first base with his Gentile up. Boy, he can blaze them down that first baseline. Norm is moving out with Bowens on that pitch. Now he's uh, in at the bag, holding them close. 
There's the one strike pitch. A swing and a foul tip. Two strikes to Gentile. Just pow, and it was in the right center field. He got a double on it. Quick throw to first base. Bowen's back in time. Two strikes to Gentile. The pitch. Another foul ball. Boy, this one ricochets off the mask of freehand and rocked him back on his heels. Soar tossing a new baseball after Denny. Wally Bunker opened the inning with a ground ball to second base. Bob Johnson flied deep to right for out number two. Sam Bowens then lined a single to right field. Here's the pitch to Gentile. Curve ball, it's too high. Freehand holding a discussion right now about the pitch with Soar. McLean ready, delivers a change of pace down low, two and two. Sam Bowens at first base with two outs. We're in the third inning. Baltimore one, the Tigers nothing. McLean getting ready. Here it is. Down low, three and two. McLean has been to three and two on three batters in this inning. Bunker on a grounder to second base. Bowen single to right field on a three-two pitch. And Jim Gentile is waiting on his three-two pitch. The runner at first will be moving three-two and two outs. Here's the pitch. Ball, it's inside. Gentile drawing a walk. Well, the Orioles have runners at first and second. And the batter will be John Orsino. Freehan and McLean are holding a conference at the pitcher's mound. And Hank Soar has gone out to break it up. Hank says, let's get this ball game underway, boys. Orsino had a single to center field in the second inning. He scored the only run of the ball game. Johnny moved to third on a double and came in on a wild pitch by McLean. Dennis checking the signs. The first pitch. Ball, it's too high. One ball and a strike. McLean delivered a curve ball, got it above the letters. Tigers straight away, fairly deep in the outfield for Orsino. Here's the 1-0 pitch. Another curve up high, ball two, and no strike. Jim Gentile is at first base. Sam Bourne's at second with two outs. McLean checks his runners. Delivers. Ball, it's too high, 3-0. finding the strike zone. Here's another one up high. He walked him. Marcino walks on four straight pitches, so the bases are loaded with two outs. And the batter will be John Powell. Powell had a double to center field in the second inning. Big left-handed batter. This fellow's as big as Jim Teal. Maybe weighs a little bit more than Jim. The Orioles with the bases loaded and two outs. The pitch. Strike. He got the fastball over. This one about knee high. Now Powell is stepping out of the box. He is in, ready to go, and got something in his eye. One strike to the big left fielder. Dennis McLean looking in, the free hand. Here's the pitch. Slow curve is inside. One ball, one strike. Baltimore leading one to nothing. We're in the third inning. The one-one pitch. Strike two. Slow curve ball coming in around the knees. One ball and two strikes. John Powell down on the end of the bat waiting. Here's the one-two pitch. A high fly ball hits the left field. It's deep. Gates Brown back, waiting. He's got it. The side's retired. 
John Powell hit that one deep in the left field. That was fighting a tough win. Gates moving back to make the catch. No runs in the inning. One hit. There were no errors. Three men left. And the score at the end of three. Baltimore won. The Tigers nothing. At the end of three, Baltimore has one run, three hits, no errors. The Tigers no runs on two hits, and they have no errors. Willie Horton will be leading off for the Tigers in the fourth inning, followed by Don Wirt and then Bubba Phillips. Willie's had one of the two Tiger hits in single to center field in the second inning. Both teams threatened in the third. The Tigers loaded the bases with two outs. Gates Brown bounced to second base to end the inning. The Orioles loading the bases with two outs, and John Powell flying to left field in the inning. There's Willie coming on, a right-handed batter. Tigers trail by one in the fourth inning. Bunker delivers. Ball. He got it down low. One ball and a strike. The pitch. He swings and lines it to center field. A solid base hit for Horton. That's his second hit. And it's hit number three for the Tigers. Willie just waiting on that fastball and rifles it up the middle. We'll bring up Don Wirt. Wirt was called out on strikes his first time in bat. Football score from Detroit. The Bears scored in the first inning on a pass. They lead the Lions 7 to nothing. Here's a liner off the glove of Robinson at third base, and everybody's going to be safe. Word hit a blue goose, a low liner that hit to the right of Robinson. He got his glove on it, and it bounded away. It'll be a single for Wirt, putting runners at first and second with no one out, and the batter will be Phillips. Robbie almost made a great play on that one. In fact, uh, the ball rolled just a couple of steps to his left, and Robbie went to his right. Otherwise, if he'd have been able to find the ball, he could have made the play on it. Let's pause for station identification. Here's the pitch to Bubba. He swings and misses on a curveball. One. Bunker getting ready. Delivers. Here's a foul ball rolling off to the left. Another curveball. Bubba threw his bat at it. Slipped out of his hand, rolling out to the mound. The ball bounced off to the left. The pitch. He swings. Here's a fly ball. Hit the left field. Fairly deep. Foul going back. Still going back. Horton's tagging up. Here he comes to third, the throw coming across. He is safe, and he gets away, and here's Horton coming into the plate to throw to the third base now, and he's safe. Willie Horton tagged at second base, moving to third after the catch. John Powell's throw into third hit him on the leg, rolled over to the Oriole dugout. It was chased down by a bunker. He picked it up, had no play at the plate on Horton. He turned and threw to third, but too late to get work. Don racing all the way from first base to third. We got a 1-1 ball game. Tigers with a runner at third. One out and the batter is Bill Freehand. There'll be an error charged against the left fielder. There's a swing and a miss on a curveball. One strike to Freehand. Not a sacrifice fly now for Phillips. He's out on the fly ball to left field. Baltimore playing in close on the infield. They want to be able to cut this runner down at the plate on a ground ball. Bunker ready. Delivers a foul ball back to the screen. Baltimore won. The Tigers won. We're in the fourth inning. Tigers have out hit the Orioles four to three. Here's the pitch. There's a liner to left field, a base hit for Freehand. We'll get a run in. Bill making a big turn. He's going to hold on. Powell had to race in to get this one out of the mud. The Tigers have taken a two-to-one lead as Freehand slammed a single to left field. Bunker delivers. Ball, it's too high. McLean had squared around, ready to bunt.
Denny slammed a hard ground ball to the shortstop his first time up. Third baseline, Robinson's going to have to hurry to throw to first base. He got him on a close play. A good play by Robinson as he raced in on a good bunt. Picked it up and made a quick throw to first in time to get McLean. It'll be a sacrifice for Denny. No time at bat. He's out 5-4 to four to keep him score. Freehand moving down to second base. Hit a home run, you remember, in his first ball game. Slammed one hard. His first time up, and now the perfect bunt down the third baseline. Robinson had to make a good play to get him. The pitch to Billy Bruton. He swings and misses. One strike to Billy. Freehand at second base with two outs. The Tigers have picked up two here in the fourth. They lead two to one. Wally Bunker checking his runner. Here's the pitch. Ball, it's too low. One ball and one strike. This bunker looks a lot like Milt Pappas, and he reminds you a lot of Milt delivering the ball. The 1-1 pitch. Ball, it's in the dirt. Blocked by John Orsino. Ball two and strike one. Billy has flied to left and fouled to the catcher in two trips. Here's the 2-1 pitch. Ball, it's in tight. Dick McAuliffe is in the on-deck circle for the Tigers. Billy Bruton waiting on the 3-1 pitch. Here it is. He swings and bounces it foul. This one hit Billy on the foot, rolls away. Three and two. Scores coming in all over the place. We'll pass them along to you as soon as we get them. The 3-2 pitch. Ball. It's outside. Billy Bruton drawing a walk. Well, the Tigers have two on with two outs, and Dick McAuliffe will be the batter. <laughs> Here's Harry the Cat Burkeen out of the pitching mound right now. He uh, football scores while we're waiting for the conference to break up. The Cardinals lead the Steelers 7-6. to six. They're still playing in the second quarter. The Giants 23. The Eagles nothing there in the third quarter. Redskins and Dallas 7-7 seven, seven in the second quarter. Browns lead the Rams 7-3 to three in the second quarter. And the Bears lead the Lions 7 to nothing. First quarter. McAuliffe fouls it off. This one back in the upper deck. One strike to Dick. First quarter in Detroit has not been completed. A one-strike count to Dick McCullough. The Tigers lead in this ball game, two to one. We're on the top of the fourth inning. Bill Freehand at second base. Billy Bruton at first with two outs. Here's the pitch. Dick swings and hits a pop fly down the left field line. This curving foul being chased by Robinson, and he makes the catch. Brooks Robinson making a fine catch of a foul fly down the left field line. The Tigers get two. Two runs in the inning on three hits. One error, two men left, and the score at the end of three and a half innings of play. The Tigers two and the Orioles one. Robinson will lead off for Baltimore in the fourth inning. He'll be followed by Jackie Brandt and then Jerry Adair. Two to one, the Tigers lead. Two runs, five hits, no errors for Detroit. One run on three hits and one error for Baltimore. The pitch to Robbie. Ball, it's up high, one ball or no strikes. Robinson walked in the first and the second inning on four straight pitches. So Robbie has yet to see a strike from Denny McLean. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one to Robinson. Baltimore got a run in the second inning. The Tigers got two in the fourth. That's been the scoring in this ball game. McLean checking the signs. A 1-1 pitch. Ball, it's down low. Ball two and strike one. Brooks Robinson waiting on the 2-1 pitch. 
Here it is. He swings and misses. Two and two to Robbie. Tigers play him deep and a little bit to left field. Everybody back on the infield. Brooks on the end of the bat. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Strike three called. He got the fastball over and Robinson called out on strikes. Strikeout number four in the ball game for McLean. It's one away and the batter will be Jackie Brandt, the center fielder. Jackie was called out on strikes in the second inning. The first pitch is a curve and it's in there, one strike. McLean has been delivering a lot of slow curves here today and he's been getting them over. Youngster has a lot of poise. Here's a fly ball hit the left field, not deep. Gates Brown moving in a few steps, makes the catch and there's two outs. Jackie Brandt out on a fly ball to left field. That's two down, and the batter will be Jerry Adair. Jerry hit into a double play his first time in bat, a very unusual double play with runners at second, first and third. He tapped to the pitcher. They got the fellow at the plate, and in a rundown, they got Robinson between second and third. The first pitch is down low. One ball and no strikes. Baltimore batting in the fourth inning. Two outs, no one on. The Tigers lead two to one. The one and no pitch is outside. Ball two and no strikes. Jerry Adair, a tall right-handed batter waiting. Here's the two and no pitch. Ball, it's too high. Three and no. Adair walking on four straight pitches, and he put a runner at first base with two out, and the batter will be Wally Bunker. Wally bounced to the second baseman his first time at bat. McLean ready, delivers, this one's up high, one ball and no strikes. The pitch is in there, right down the middle, one and one. The pitch to Bunker is in there, nope. The store, down low, ball two and strike one. McLean delivers, he swings and misses. That'll even the count at two and two. Jerry Adair is on at first base with two outs. Denny checking the signs of Bill Freehand. Here's the pitch. Foul ball. It'll be out of play. And trailing into the upper deck. Once again, Hank Soar stepping out, delivering a new baseball to McLean. All right, now it is a beautiful afternoon here in Baltimore. Blue skies up above, bright sunshine. A 2-2 pitch. Outside, he missed the corner. 3-2 and two for the pitcher. Jerry edging off. Here it is. A ground ball that is foul. This one hit the pitcher on the foot, rolling down the third base. A 3-2 count. Getting ready. Here it is. Here's a liner to center field. It's going to be in for a base hit. Adair will hold at second base. Wally Bunker lined one in the center field. So the Orioles have runners at first and second with two outs, and the batter will be Bob Johnson. So after getting the first two batters, here in the fourth inning, McLean is in a hole. He has runners at first and second with two out. Johnson, a slender right-handed batter. Here's the first pitch. Fly ball hit the left field. Not too deep. 
Brown going back a couple of steps. Is there, and he makes the catch. Johnson out on a fly to left. No runs in the inning on one hit. There were no errors. Two men left, and the score at the end of four, the Tigers two, and the Orioles one. Well, at the end of four now, the Tigers have two runs on five hits and no errors. And the Orioles have one run on four hits and one error. The Orioles scored in the second off Benny McLean. Single run there. The Tigers came back with two in the fourth inning. Off Wally Bunker. Two to one. Tigers in the lead. Here's the fifth inning. Here's George again. Norman Cash will lead off for the Tigers in the fifth inning, followed by Gates Brown and then Willie Horton. The pitch to Norm. He swings. There's a fly ball into the corner in left field. It's well hit. This ball is off the fence. Cash on his way to second. The throw coming in will not be in time. A long double into the left field corner by Norm Cash leading off in the fifth inning. We'll bring up Gates Brown. Gates has been to the plate twice today. He bounced to the first baseman in the second inning and to the second baseman in the third inning. Right. Here's the first pitch. He swings and fouls it back. He's going to be in the upper deck. One strike the gate. Tigers two. The Orioles one. We're on the top of the fifth inning. Tigers have out hit Baltimore six to four. Here's the one strike pitch. Ball. It's too high. One and one. Most of them played in the West today. All of them in the West. The pitch to Brown. Here's a strong drive into deep right center field. It's well hit. This ball is gone. It's a home run for Gates Brown. A long blast over the fence in right center field. And Brown has picked up his second home run of the year. The Tigers now lead by a score of 4-1. to Ball was a line drive, well hit over the fence in right center field. We'll bring up Willie Horton. Willie's had two of the Tigers' seven hits today. Singled in the second, again in the fourth inning. He scored a run in the fourth. The pitch to Willie is inside. One ball and no strike. Charlie Creedon in the booth with us. Charlie, what's our arrival time today? Two hours and 30 minutes after the last pitch. Two hours and 30 minutes after the final pitch, the Tigers will be at Willow Run Airport. About two hours and 30 minutes. There's a swing and a miss on a fastball, two and one. Well, if this ball game is over at 4.30. That'll be 3.30 Detroit. We'll be at Willow Run around 6 o'clock. Right, right. Not too bad. George, I'm sure going to miss you after that. Well, I appreciate it, Charlie. I appreciate you saying it. I told Ernie before the ball game today, he says, I'll uh, let you say your farewells and goodbyes at the end of the game. I said, there'll be no more farewells and goodbyes. I've said them all. I think people are tired of hearing it. And they, so they know I'm going to miss. I'm, I'm not tired, George. I'm really going to miss you. Well, I'm going to miss Detroit. I'm going to miss Tiger baseball. I'm going to miss all of you. But uh, this is something I want to do and I'm looking forward to it. Sorry to say I think you're right. <laughs> That's what Mr. Stroh said the other day when I told him. He said, now that you've already announced it, I'm going to say you were right, but otherwise I'd say no. Willie Horton has just drilled on the left field. That's his third base hit. Well, we were talking until the count ran to three and two on Willie and he drilled one on the ground into left field. Three straight hits for this young outfielder and he's been very impressive with that bat. You know, we can pick up this broadcast in Arkansas at night. And I'm going to be listening to these guys next year. Yes, sir. I'm going to check on them and see what they say. There's Don Wirtz. Tigers have two runs in this inning. A runner at first base. Still no one out. The pitch to Don. He swings a ground ball up the middle of center field. Here's Willie Horton around second. He's going to try for third. The throw will go to second. Jackie Brad gave a fake to third and then held it. A base hit for Word up the middle. And the Tigers have runners at first and third with no one out. We're getting action in the bullpen. For the Orioles, I believe the left-hander is Brunette. 
And the right-hander, Durant. Bubba Phillips batting. Runners at first and third. No one out. The Tigers lead by three. We're in the fifth inning. Bunker delivers. Ball. It's inside. One ball and no strikes. Bunker was very impressive in the first inning. He retired the side in order. In the second, he gave up a single. Got out without any trouble. But in the third and the fourth, the Tigers have been pecking away at him. And here in the fifth, here's a pitch outside. 2-0 to Phillips. They loaded the bases in the third inning. Failed to score. But in the fourth inning, they picked up two on three hits on an error. They have scored two here in the fifth. Still have two on with no one out. Four straight hits in this inning. The pitch to Phillips. He swings and foul tips it. Two and one to Bubba Phillips. Storep and Brunette. A right-hander and a left-hander throwing for the Orioles. Willie Horton leading off at third base. Don Word at first. The pitch to Bubba. He swings and misses on a curveball. This one breaking down and away. Two and two. getting ready. The pitch. Here's a liner to left field. A solid base hit for Bubba Phillips. That'll get a run in. Work's going to hold at second base. Five straight hits here in the fifth inning. The Tigers have picked up three. They lead five to one. Bill Freehand will be the batter. Bill. We were going to get a pitching change. We are. Here's Billy Hitchcock coming out. This will be the second trip to the mound. And that'll mean the end of the road for the young right-hander, Wally Bunker. I believe the call has gone out for the right-hander. I'm not sure. The signal is being given to the bullpen for the right hand by Jim Hunterchick. And it is the right-hander, Sturette, coming on. At least I believe it's Sturette. We'll have to wait to be sure. It's a long ways to the bullpen here in Baltimore. And we'll check the number. I believe it's 24. And if it is, of course, it'll be Sturette. Ernie, I believe it's Sturette coming on. Uh, it looks like uh, Herman Sturette taking over for the young uh, pitcher, Bunker, who ran into a buzzsaw here in the fifth inning. Cash opened with a double. Then Gates Brown hit a home run over the right field fence, a two-run homer to give the Tigers uh, a 4-1 lead at that point. After that, Horton, Wirt, and Phillips hit three successive singles, the RBI by Phillips, knocking the young pitcher, Bunker, off the mound in his big league debut. So, Wally Bunker leaves the mound now and a round of applause from the Baltimore fans. It'll be Sturrett, the right-handed, to take over for him. Herman Sturrett. Herman pitched at Rochester most of this year. He won six and lost two. The boy from uh, Statesville, North Carolina, and his dad is a former professional ball player. S-T-A-R. R-E-T-T-E. Sturette takes over. Meeting on the mound with Billy Hitchcock. John Orsino and Sturette. Georgetown. Bill Freehand, the batter. Bill's had a double and a single in this ball game. Two on with no one out. The Tigers lead five to one. Here's the pitch to Bill. He swings at the fly ball deep in the right field. Bowen's going back. The runners are tagging up. Here's Wirt moving to third. Phillips is going to hold on. Bubba had started. The throw came in the second. He went back. Freehand flying deep in the right field. That'll put runners at first and third. The batter will be McLean. And let's pause for station identification. This is the Detroit Tiger Baseball Network. Denny McLean, the batter. This youngster has bounced to the shortstop and sacrificed in two trips. Later score from Detroit is 21 to nothing. The Bears leading the Lions. The pitch to McLean is in there. One strike. First and third, one out. The Tigers batting in the fifth inning. They lead five to one. 
McLean checking with the third base coach, Swift. We might have the squeeze play. Here's the pitch. Strike two. You got the sidearm fastball over. McLean stepped back as Tourette delivered that one from the third base side. A two-strike count. Denny's not a bad hitter, as you know. He swings a pretty good bat. The pitch. Curveball hit high into the air into right center field. Not too deep. Word is tagging. Jackie Brandt makes the catch. Here he comes. The throw to the plate. He is safe at the plate. John Work coming in to score on the sacrifice fly, and the Tigers lead 6-1. to one. The fastball is down low. One ball and no strikes. That was a sacrifice fly for McLean. And a run batted in. A pitch to Billy. Ball, it's too low. Ball two and no strikes. It's a one ball game. The Tigers are out in front of the Orioles. We're in the fifth inning. Storette ready. There goes Phillips. Here's a pop fly down the third baseline. Robinson over near the dugout, and he makes the catch. Billy Bruton fouls to the third baseman. Four runs in the inning. On five hits, there were no errors. One man left on the score at the end of four and a half innings of play. The Tigers six, the Orioles one. Now we move along into the bottom of the fifth inning and moving into the mic, all set to bring you the play-by-play. Here's Ernie Harwell. Well, thank you, George, and hi again, everybody. Sam Bowen is the batter, the right fielder. One for two for Sam today. And then McLean gives him a good curve. It breaks across. Strike one on Sam Bowen. Four hits so far for Baltimore. They picked up two in the second, one in the third, and one in the fourth. There's a pop-up back a short. McAuliffe going back on the grass in short left center. He has it. One up and one down. Jim Gentile, the hard-swinging left-hand batting first sacker. Diamond Jim has struck out and drawn a walk so far. McLean, the right-hander from Chicago. To the booze, here's a long belt to right. Maybe out of here. That one's gone. A home run. Into the right field seat by Gentile. Feared by a young man out there about eight years old. He had a glove in the front row, and uh, he's receiving almost as many plaudits as Jim Gentile did. The 24th for Diamond Jim. It's the second run for Baltimore. John Orsino, the catcher, one of the real bright spots in the Baltimore picture this year. Right-hand batting catcher. Six to two to score the Tigers' lead. Big four runs in the fifth inning, the difference in the game. There's a fast ball down the low, ball one. Down the line here, it's 309 feet from the home plate to right and to left. Now then the seats fall back rather drastically. Don't have to hit it far if you can pull the ball enough. I'll let a pitch it too high. Two and one. That's the count on Orsino. Word has pulled to his right playing a deep second base. There's a fast ball hit in the air late and deep to right. Going back is Willie Horton. He has room and makes the catch. Marcino flies to Horton. That's two out. And John Powell about it. He's one of the biggest guys in the American League. He swings and misses. Boy who grew up around Lakeland, Florida. Now he was from Key West. Mickey Mantle, oh, this fellow's a little bit injury prone. He's been in and out of the lineup for the last couple of years, suffering various injuries over those two seasons. There's a ball down low. One and one to count on Powell. Now, the uh, Tigers play him to pull quite a bit to right. They have the outfield around that way. 
McCormick at short is almost back of second. High foul fly. It'll be out of play. Into the seat. Baltimore scored first in this game. They picked up a run in the second inning. On a single by Orsino. A double by Powell and a wild pitch. They scored their second run on a home run by Gentile here in the fifth. Tigers did not score until the fourth. They had singles by Horton and Wirt. A throwing error by Powell allowed a run to score, and then uh, Freehand knocked in another one with a single. Then the Tigers got four in the fifth inning, featuring a two-run homer by Gates Brown. Is a line drive, base hit, to center. Number two in the inning for the Birds, and number six for the game. The batter will be Brooks Robinson of Baltimore. He has walked and taken a call, third strike. Outfield pulled around toward the left. They bunch him up the middle. Uh, Robinson doesn't pull a whole lot. The outfielders go toward center on him. Six to two, the Tigers lead. There's a swing and a miss by Robbie. Strike one. McLean gives him the sidearm curve. He usually throws over and he came in sidearm that time. One and one. Final game of the 1963 season here in Baltimore. The one one pitch. There's a curve that got the corner. He gave him a big motion. His curveball got over. Uh, stands up very straight. He reminds you a little bit of uh, Dave Sussler. Wears well, glasses, too. Uh, the set, the one-two to the very fast ball wide. Robinson would have no part of it. The count is two-two. The Orioles have Powell at first base. There are two out. And the Tigers lead them six to two in the fifth inning. Set the pitch. He takes a high one. Let up. Full count. McLean has thrown a lot of pitches. Normally, a pitcher who wins a ball game will throw around 100, 120, 130. Times as low as uh, 80 or 90. Ball four. He walked him. A high fastball. The fifth walk off McLean. Puts two Orioles on with two down, and Jack Brandt steps up. Jack struck out in the second. He fly to the left fielder, Gates Brown, in the fourth inning. Six to two, Tigers lead by four here in the last half of the fifth with Baltimore batting. There's a changeup at too high. Ball one. Ball two, two and oh, the count on Brandt. The Tigers are still looking for their first win in this ballpark all season long. Back home, they won four and lost five against the Birds. Outside, ball three, three and oh, that's the count on Brandt. McLean in trouble. He's got to uh, get that ball over. The 3-0 pitch is on the way. It's a ball. He walked him. And the bases are loaded. Jerry Adair, the rangy right-hand batting second baseman, steps up. It's like Gladding and Bunning in the Detroit bullpen right now. A couple of right-handers. A 
young fellas plotting their tactics now against Baltimore and especially Mr. Jerry Adair who's waiting at the plate. Plain is having some trouble getting his signs. The man at second, Plain's uh, being extra careful. Plain had trouble picking up his signs. Here comes a let up that's too high. One Here comes a let up that's too high. One and one to count. The plane's had trouble getting his let up over. Here's the wind up. Here comes a let up that's too high. One and one to count. The plane's had trouble getting his let up over. And his curveball has also been missing the target here in the fifth inning. Outfield is straight up, the infield back. Base is loaded, two out. There's a foul ball upstairs out of play, and McLean is now ahead of the hitter. One ball and two strikes on Jerry Adair. Here it comes. He swings and fouls it upstairs out of play. Go one and two on him. Six to two. The Tigers lead Baltimore. Baltimore batting in the fifth inning. They're trying to get him out now. His face is loaded situation. Here's a pitch. A curveball too high again. Two two. Well, uh, as was the case in the Washington game, when McLean has been wild. He's been wild high here this afternoon. Two-two. Adair leading and waiting. The wind-up, the pitch. Swing and a miss. He blew the fastball by him and struck him out. Adair, strength out for the bases loaded. That's the fifth strikeout for Denny McLean. One run for the Baltimore Orioles in their fifth inning. They pick up one run on two hits. There were no errors, and three runners were left on base. It's the second time that they've left three men on. And the score at the end of five. Detroit six, and Baltimore two. Here's McAuliffe stepping in. Charlie Dresden very high on this young man. He likes his attitude, he likes his determination, his hustle, and thinks that he'll become a good hitter. Left hand batting Dick McCauley, the base relief pitcher Herman Sturrett. It's the ball down low, fastball from Sturrett. Outfield on McCauley is straight away, the infield is back. Here comes the ball, high and away, 2-0. Oh. Oh, Milwaukee leads the Cubs at Milwaukee, one to nothing at the end of one. Spawn pitching in that one. Warren Spawn, the grand old man of the mound on the mound. There's a line drive, base hit up the right side of the alley. Chased down by Bowens and McAuliffe going for two. He has a stand-up double. Dick was the only man who did not bat in the four-run fifth inning. So he starts the sixth with a two-bagger. Here's Cash. He started the fifth with a double. Storm and Norman with a pop to second a walk and a double to left. Tigers turn for their first one of the year in this ballpark. They lead right now by four, six to two. Wind is blowing out toward right. It'll help a fly ball hit the right. Ball hit the left will be held up. There's a curveball in too close. Ball out. 
He pitches. There's a drive at the center field. Coming in is Brandt and makes a catch running to his right. Cash is out. Gates Brown will be the next man up. Gates bounced out the first and second and then had a two-run homer to spark that four-run surge in the fifth inning. Bruton's had a walk. McLean's had two sacrifices. There's a pop fly into short right. Here comes Sam Bowens in. May have trouble. Jackie Brandt coming in, and it falls in between the two. Gates Brown going on to second, and Word holds it third. It'll be a double dropping in between the two outfielders. Almost a routine fly, but because of the very tough undergoing out there, it made it treacherous to run. And Bowens uh, got a late start. He couldn't come in under the ball. Brandt then uh, made a dash for it, but he couldn't reach it either. And it fell in between the two. Now, well, there's a case of a double, sending a man from second to third, because McAuliffe had to hold up waiting to see whether the ball would be caught. Here's Willie Horton taking a curveball on the way. Ball one. The Tigers now have 12 hits. Swing it a high fly ball to short left. Coming in is John Powell. The wind takes this one. Powell running in almost behind shortstop. Now makes the catch. And McCullough and Gates Brown hold on at third and second. Little man from Pennsylvania, Don Work.
motion. Here's the pitch. He takes a strike on the outside corner. Tigers lead it 6-2. to 3-2 two. Two pitch to Johnson. He fouls it upstairs. Out of play. It'll be interesting to check when this game's over. Just how many pitches McLean has thrown. Here's a tight fastball that walks in. Ball four. The seventh walk off McLean. It'll bring to bat Sam Bowens, the big free swinger from Wilmington, North Carolina. It's a fellow that uh, Baller was putting a lot of stock in in the future book. It's out of a close stance. He turns his back around on the pitcher. Tiger infield and double play depth on Sam Bowen. The man on first for the birds. The Tigers lead him 6-2. to The last half of inning number six here at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. It's a high foul out of play. Back up. Well, now, Denny McLean trying to pick up his second major league victory. The Livers is a let-up pitch up high. For a ball. Let's take 10 seconds now for station identification. This is the Detroit Tiger Baseball Network. There's a ground ball to deep short. Knocked down by McCullough. He'll have no play anywhere. And it'll be a base hit for Bowens. Sending Johnson to second. McCullough did a good job to get his glove on it, but he couldn't hold on. coming to Burris. Struck out, walked, and hit a home run. Confab out on the mound between Freehan and McLean. Detroit bullpen right now. They did have the gladding throwing for a while. He has stopped, I believe. He's still up, but he's uh, looking out of the action on the diamond. He's not throwing. Gentile takes a strike call. A curve across. Twice, the Orioles have left the bases loaded. Once, they've left two men on. Once, they left one on. In the first inning, McLean set them down one, two, three. So they've left nine men on in the first five innings. They've got two on and one out now. There's a ball up high, one and one on Gentile. Danny McLean trying to survive in this tough spot now. Sets and delivers a fastball fouled upstairs. One and two to count on Gentile. Stories around Baltimore that Gentile will be traded in the offseason. You hear stories like that about almost any ball player. Now the set on the one-two pitch to him. It's a curve across. He struck him out. The big change-up curve. Gentile must have been looking for something else, and the ball curved over there and struck him out. Quick strikeout for McLean. Well, conference on the mound now. Freehand going out to talk to McLean. Now stand by now for real pleasure. Uncap and pour yourself a Stroh's. Pleasure time every time. Enjoy a Stroh's. Better now against Denny McLean. Marcino has single walked and fly to right. Tigers ahead, 
six to two. It's the last half of the sixth inning. The birds at bat. They've got two on and two out. Right hand of McLean ready to deliver. Here's a ball in the dirt. A good stop by Freehand. Short hop that one and grabbed it up against his chest protector. delivery coming up to Orsino. He takes a ball in too close. Freehand is uh, yelling at Hank Soar about that last one. Soar is also getting the needle from the Tiger bench and he's indicating to fellas yelling at him that that pitch was inside. set by Denny. The pitch is swung on and missed. He gave him a fastball. 2-2 two -two on John. Two men on, two men out. 6-2. to two. Tigers lead Baltimore. It's the last half of the sixth here at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. The train seems to be working uh, much slower than he did in the first couple of games we saw him. This is a pop-up over near third in the foul territory. Bubba Phillips shading his eyes under it, makes a catch, and the side retired. Orsino fouls out to Bubba Phillips, and it's no runs on one hit. There were no errors, and two runners were left. So the score at the end of six, the tag is six and Baltimore two. Uh, but Jordan, Captain Bubba of the United Airlines, uh, dipped his wings over Memorial Stadium. All the Tigers got up on the dugout steps, gave him a greeting. And Charlie Creedon popped into our radio booth to inform us, to inform you that uh, you folks will meet the Tigers, members of the family, et cetera, et cetera, that the Tiger charter plane will be at Willow Run about two and a half hours after this game is completed. some changes. You probably heard them announce. Brooks Robinson has gone to shortstop here for Baltimore with the Tigers coming to bat in the seventh inning. Robinson is at shortstop. Jackie Brandt takes over third base, coming in from center field, and Snyder goes to center. Snyder stays in the ball game. He batted number nine, and he'll stay in the game and hit there. And the new pitcher will be West Stop, the boy from the great Northwest, from the state of Washington. Tall right-handed to face Stock. Here's Papa Phillips to lead off against Stock. Bring in his Bowens, the right fielder makes a catch, and there's one pitch and one out in the seventh inning. Bill Freehand coming up next. Bill has a double, a single, and a fly to right. Munker started for Baltimore. Sturette relieved him in the fifth inning. And Stock here in the seventh, pitching to Detroit. Stock has won seven and lost none. Strictly a relief pitcher for Billy Hitchcock's ball club. There's a fastball outside. Ball on the count on freehand. Six to two, Tigers lead, seventh inning. There's a foul ball out of play. Over toward the Detroit dugout. One and one. Here's a wind-up by Wes and the 1-1 one -one delivery. It's a strike. He took a half a cut. One and two. That's the count on freehand. On the wind-up, here it comes. A ball outside. Two-two. That's the count. Six to two. Tigers ahead. They have 12 hits and the Orioles have seven. Here comes, he takes the ball in too tight. Full count. Here's the 3 2 delivery. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a fastball. Free hand goes down swinging. That's two out, nobody on to bring to bat Denny McLean, the Tiger pitcher. Then he has bounced to short and sacrificed out on a bunt, third to first, and then sacrificed with a fly ball to center. Picked up the RBIs, 
Last sacrifice. West Stock. Pitching. There's a foul ball back on the screen. One strike. Tiger's big inning was a fifth, featuring a two-run homer by Gates Brown, his second of the season. Five straight hits there starting off that inning. Talking Bunker, the starter from the mound. McLean looks at a fastball outside. One and one on Dennis. Stocker out of quick worker comes back with a fastball. Hit on the ground to short. Jackie Brandt, the third baseman, cuts it off in front of Robinson, from the shortstop. Fires to Jim Deal in time for the out. So the converted outfield of Brandt made the play that time, and the side is out in order. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. And at the end of the first half of the seventh inning, it's the Tigers six and Baltimore two. The cigarette flavor, rich tobacco. Start of the Oh, as a double and a single. He's also fly to the left fielder, Gates Brown. It's a fastball down low. Benny ball one. He'll swing around to right. McCall up the shortstop over here second. Let up pitches over. One and one the count. Clean's had trouble getting that uh, let up over the plate, but he made it that time. One and one. Tigers ahead by four runs. Six to two of the seventh. There's a tap to a third. Charged around by Phillips. He was playing deep. For the first to cash, he's out. Powell out on a close play at first base. Robinson, now playing shortstop, will be the batter. Robinson has walked twice and struck out. Tigers ahead in the seventh at six to two. Motion the pitch, he swings and misses. One and one, the count on Brooks Robinson. Out on deck is Jackie Brandt. McLean delivers, there's a foul fly upstairs between home and first out of play. One and two. Here's the paid attendance, 2,109. Here's the pitch. A drive to left field. Going to the right now is Gates Brown and makes the catch right at the base of the wall. Robinson is out. We'll bring up Jackie Brandt. Jackie is struck out, fly to left, and drawn a base on balls. There's a strike, a fastball on the outside corner from Denny. Orioles have left 11 men on base. Change up curve. He swung and tipped out to the mid of freehand for strike two count. Here's the motion, the pitch. A curve in the dirt, breaking down and away on Brandt. One and two the count on him. Washington five, Chicago two in their game at Comiskey Park. The Soto Yankees rained out, Los Angeles at Boston rained out. Cleveland, Chicago, we've got no report on that one yet. One two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a fastball. The seventh strikeout for McLean. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left. And at the end of seven, Detroit six, Baltimore two. I skip the eighth inning and we'll resume play with the ninth inning. It'll be the fourth pitcher that Billy Hitchcock has used. We're not coming on to work in the ninth inning.
Brunette's record for the year. No victories and one defeat. So Stock goes out with two innings of work. He got everybody out in order. He pitched the six men, struck out three of them. No runs, no hits, no walks, and struck out three. Tigers. Gates had the big hit of the ball game in the Tiger fifth inning and a two-run homer, his second of the year. Tigers got four in that inning after scoring two in the fourth. That's how they got their total of six. A left-hander against a left-hander. The pitch on the way. Swing and a miss by Gates Brown. Strike one. up and the pitch on the way. Strike called. A fastball in there. Two strikes on Gates Brown. Bunker started for Baltimore. Starrett in the fifth inning. Stock in the seventh. Brunette here in the ninth. Here it comes. He takes a curveball that's down too low. One and two the count. straight away on Gates, big strong left-hander. He takes a strike, struck him out, fastball, got him, called out on strikes. Well, Brunette fans, the first man to face him, and here's Willie Horton. Willie's had three for four, the most hits on the club. Three singles, his first three times at bat, and then he fly to Powell in short left. Foul ball out of the mitt of the catcher, John Orsino. Tigers have six runs on 12 hits and no errors. The Orioles have two runs on seven hits, and they've made one error. Cleveland KC are nothing-nothing in the third. There's a ball. He checked his swing in time. One-on-one. -on -one. Horton is a good swinger. He likes to take his cut at the ball. And he swings with authority. Thing baseball men like to see a guy will get up there and dig in. Here's the pitch. He takes the ball down low, two and one. Tigers ahead in the night day in the final game, six to two. Well, the pitch on the way from Brunette, it's in too tight. Had a three one count up on the board now. Willie Horton body. One out and none on the windup. Here it comes. There's a bounding ball to first base. Gentile makes a good diving grab of the ball, throws to Brunette covering, and Horton is out at first. Good play by Gentile. Don Wirt will be the batter. Don is struck out, hit two singles, and bounced to second. Two for four for Don. Washington leading the White Sox 6-2 to two there in the eighth inning. Brunette on the mound, a left-hander. Pitcher number four used by Hitchcock. It's the ball down low and downward. Here's the pitch on the way. Work swings. There's a fly ball deep to left. Maybe out of here. It is a home run for Don Work. It's the auxiliary scoreboard above the fence, and Wirt has a bases empty home run to make it 7-2 to two here in the ninth inning. That's his seventh home run of the year. And his third hit of the afternoon. It's brother Phillips. Bounce to third, fly to left single, and fly to right. Ball out 
outside on Bubba Ball one. Two down, nobody on. Ninth inning, Tigers lead by five, seven to two. Brunette pitches, Phillips hits a pop fly to right. It may fall in. Let's see if it's a fair foul ball. It is a foul ball by a couple of yards down on the right field corner. Hit that one on the handle of the bat. Bubba told us the home run he hit the other day. He hit it to, to left field. He said he broke his bat on it. He had enough power behind that swing to drive it out of the ballpark. Phillips takes a high curve. Two on the count. Brunette ready, pitches again. Bubber swings and misses. Two two on him. On well, the start of Bunker went the first five innings and gave up the first six runs. Seventh run scored here off Brunette in the ninth. As a ground ball to short, Brooks Robinson playing shortstop, grabs it, throws Gentile, and the side out in the Tiger Knights. One run, one hit, no errors, and nobody left. And the score at the end of the first half of the ninth inning, Detroit seven and Baltimore two. Well, friends, the regular baseball season is over, and at this time, uh, George and I want to thank you for all your interest and support. The folks at the American Tobacco Company, makers of dual filter Tariton, are happy to have played a part in bringing these games to you. And they hope, and of course we do too, that the broadcasts have brought you pleasure. Now, during the offseason, we hope you keep on enjoying the smoking pleasures that dual filter Tariton will bring. And we'll be looking forward to joining you again next spring with more Tiger baseball. Of course, we'll miss our partner, George Cal, but we'll be welcoming a newcomer to the radio booth and television broadcasting crew, Mr. Bob Chappie. Well, here's the last half of the ninth inning now, which uh, may be the final half inning of the 1963 baseball season. And the Tigers holding a five-run lead, 7-2 to two over the Birds. Sam Boyd will lead it off in the ninth for Baltimore. Bounced the second, single twice, and popped out the shortstop. Danny McLean has had a struggle all the way. Ready to go to work. The pitch is a swing and a foul fly back at third base. Bubba Phillips back under it, waiting now, and makes the catch. Boynes is out. Bring the bat. Diamond Jim Gentile, who has a home run. He struck out twice and walked. McLean is in trouble, especially in the middle innings with uh, his lack of control. He's walked seven, but he has struck out ten. He struck out all three men of the eighth inning. Struck out four straight there in the seventh and eighth. There's a bounding ball foul just outside the bag at first. Glove by Norman Cash. Strike one on Gentile. Seven to two, Detroit leads Baltimore, one out in the Oriole ninth inning. up by Denny. The let-up pitch is swung on and beaten foul again, just about the same spot. Two strikes to count on him. Cleveland, Kansas City, nothing, nothing there in the third. Whistle down there from Luke Kaplan, coaching at first base for the Orioles. It's a ball down low from McLean. One and two on Gentile. Fellow who was in the Dodgers system many years, but they had a first baseman named Gil Hodges, and he was a little tough to dislodge from that bag. The one two delivery to Jim. It's a ball up high. He checked his swing. Two two to count on Gentile. Seven to two Tigers. Baltimore bats in the ninth. Danny McLean into action. Delivers. Slow curveball down low. Oak count. Here's the windup and the pitch. He swings the bounding ball to the right side of the infield. Off the glove of Cash and work behind him. Can't handle it. Gentile will be safe at first. Both work the second baseman and Cash, the first baseman, went for that ball. 
Cash barely tipped it with his glove, but that deflected it out of the range of Don Wirt. And Gentile will be on with a hit. That is hit number eight. For the Verge, on the second hit by Jim Gentile. Here's Orsino, the hard-hitting catcher. A single walk, apply to right, and a foul out to Bubba Phillips at third base. Infield and double play depth. Swing and a foul ball off the hand of Bill Freehand. Well, we want to thank you folks for your many cards and letters and wires throughout the year, plus the kind, uh, thoughtful things you've had to say about us. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you next year. There's a ball down low and outside, one and one. Hit in the air. Should be the ball game of the season. Out to left field. Thomas is under it. Waiting. He has it. And the Tigers win it. In the ninth inning, Baltimore gets one run. On three hits. There were no errors. And two were left. So the Tigers, winning the final game of the year, take their first victory of the season here in Baltimore's Memorial Stadium. They did it with two big innings. Two runs in the fourth and four runs in the fifth. Wirt added a home run to three. So we say a fond farewell to you. And, of course, uh, we... Certainly hope you'll be back with us again in 1964. We're mighty sorry to see our friend George Cal leave us, but uh, we'll say for the final time that our engineer has been Howard Stitzel, and now this is Ernie Harwell, along with George Cal, saying so long for Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. Today's game has been brought to you by the Stro Well, in the American League, we had two games postponed because of rain today. Los Angeles scheduled to play at Fenway Park in Boston, and the Minnesota Twins and Yankee game at Yankee Stadium in New York. Both of those postponed because of rain. Cleveland playing at Kansas City this afternoon in a game that's very important to the Tigers. And at the end of the three and a half innings of play, they're all tied at one run apiece. Jim Grant doing the pitching for the Indians and Donahue for the Kansas City A's. Washington and Chicago are in the bottom of the eighth inning. And the Washington Senators are out in front by a score of 9-2, to two, Chicago batting in the eighth.